In the next video, I'll show you how to create dynamic pages into Wix so you can display personalized content without creating hundreds of separated pages. So, to get started, first of all, you want to understand dynamic pages in the Wix that allows you to create one template page that displays different content based on your data. So, to get started, I am here into my Wix site. So, I'm going to choose one site that I currently have. If you don't have a site, focus into the right side, into the upper side, it says create new site. Now that you have here your site open, you might be prompted and it could be sent it, of course, to the dashboard of the Wix. Inside the dashboard of my Wix, what I wanted to do, of course, is to head to the Wix content manager and, of course, create a new collection. To focus into the new collection where you can store all the dynamic data, you can focus here into the side, your site. Into this side my site, we are now into the Wix website editor and you can focus into the left part. Usually into the center side of your website, you'd have the preview of how it's going to be looking in your site. Into the left side, you have the elements that can be helping you to customize your stuff. CMS into adding elements. If I click into CMS, you can see that we have this element that says create collection. Let's click into create collection. Now, we can create a collection with artificial intelligence. We can start from scratch, or we can import with CSP. To set up collection fields and add some samples content, I'm going to choose, for this tutorial, creation of artificial intelligence. You can focus into start from scratch if you want to add this manually. Now, into what's the name of your collection, let's say that I'm going to go for blocks. Now, add some details about your collection. Let's say that this is a collection of blocks uh, let's say 12 blocks next and generating some content fields now the artificial intelligence should be understanding what my actual dynamic pages are about so here are a few suggested fields as it says for my blocks collection so I have title I have content author published date and featured image for me it works so I can go here for create collection and the creation of the collection should be done automatically. So that means that we are now ready directly uh, to focus now into the collection. Inside your collection staff, you can add fields for each type. Uh, you can add prices, you can add links, you can add a different structure, will allow your dynamic pages to pull into the right content for each entry. In my case, I do have published date, author, content, title, feature, image. Just for this example, I'm gonna add a new field and here I have number, URLs, references, and much more. Let's say that I'm going to be adding one ID, field name, and save. And this field name, let's say, for example, that this is my article number one, this is my article number two, article number three, article number four, and article number five. Now, the artificial intelligence, of course, is going to be generating content automatically. Of course, this is not something that you can do uh, by yourself. I'm going to hit now into open just in case you want to see the preview of the content. For example, here, title, 10 tips for healthy eating. Here's the content. Here's the author, the published date, the feature image, and the number. Now, in my case, what I'm going to be doing here is to change the content information. You can manage the fields if you wanted to. In my case, I'm going to hit now into save, and then I'm going to be enabling these elements into my dynamic page. So, to create a new page into Wix and convert it into a dynamic page, you then link to the database collection to you just created. So, I'm going to close this. Let's go and focus now back into the error. And here, you have the page section we can see that we have the manage pages and have now the side pages and menus. So you have here the add menu item and here you can go for new page or dynamic pages. Into dynamic pages, you can focus here and to choose which is the page would you like to use to get started. Let's go for adding a new page. Now here I'm going to focus into the left side and focus for block. So I go here for adding uh, Wix blocked and my blocked elements should be added automatically. Now you can add sales, you can add product pages, you can add more descriptions, much more. But in here, I just wanted to focus into the block pages element. Now inside here, the side pages, I go for auctions and I can manage my post. Now into managing my post, I usually wanted to focus into the collection that I'm currently using, which in my case, of course, are 
the dynamic pages or the collection that we have just created. So one great feature of the dynamic page set is the availability to set up dynamic URLs. Now inside here, this element that says pages and menus, let's click on it and let's go directly into dynamic pages. Into dynamic pages, you can see that we have two listing stuff that we can do it. So if I click here into news, for example, here's one item that I currently have and automatic is gonna be added into my page. Now, this is not the dynamic page. This is not the collection that we created. That means that I'm gonna be deleting this because this is just an example. So I delete this item and I go for add a dynamic page. And we wanted to use the collection that we have just created. In my case, let's go for add and page. My collection is the blocks element and I add them to this side. They are going to be creating pages automatically with the information that I have just generated. So here is my blocked collection. And now here we can see that we have this block elements of the page that I have just generated. So I can go now back into my page and menus. I have the dynamic page. And here, as you can see, we have five items into my blocked collection. The five of them are appearing in here. And into the right element, you can see that here, we do have the URL of all the five pages that we're gonna be using. So I clicked in here, and here's page number one. Here's page number two, page number three, four, and five, and so much more. There you have it, a really easily way of how we can actually do dynamic pages here into Wix with just using collections and with your dynamic page to set it up, of course your template will put the right data for your collection to create as many pages as you need. You can also add filters of course and sorting options to display only certain entries from your collection but that's totally up to you. Well guys, if you find this video helpful, be sure to subscribe for more Wix tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And hopefully you can all see you next time.